Hey guys, welcome back to Salty Dog Brewing. Um, tonight is another taster. Uh, this beer has never been, um, there's never a video made of a brew of this. Um, so this is my brown IPA. Um, I was trying to go for a black IPA, but um, I failed on the malt bill. So we went for brown instead. Uh, so basically the malt bill was very simple. It was uh, four and a half kilos of marisotta and 300 grams of black malt. Um, this was the first one I'd ever use with Burton water salt mixture in it. Um, it's a mash, where are we? Mashed it 67 to 69 for an hour. Uh, Pre-boil was 11 bricks. Uh, we hopped it up with 30 grams of Centennial, 40 grams of Centennial. Uh, mangrove Jack. Uh, we dry hopped on day three with 20 grams mosaic, 15 grams citra, 10 grams pearl. And then uh, on day two, day four, we added 11 grams of El Dorado and then crash chilled it, kegged it. It's been in the keg for two months. Um, this is a bottle off the keg. Uh, this has gone into competition at uh, the, the WA uh, Homebrewers Association competition. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get this poured out. I haven't cracked it. I haven't cracked one open yet. From no, I did the stout. Sorry, you see. Um, so let's just see how this is carbonated. Little hiss. So we'll do the same as yesterday, I'll pour it into the glass, turn off the camera, have a, have a snifter, have a taste, and we'll go from there. This glass is really dirty. I'll count it there, because there's still a little bit of sediment, even though it's from the keg, there's a bit of sediment in there. Um, on there. It looks quite red on the camera, but it really isn't. It's it's very brown. See if we can back end that one. That's a better colour. Yeah, that's a better colour there. Yeah, see that brown. That's what it is. See, we've got a bit of a red tinge on there, but yeah, it is quite brown. All right, I'll catch you on the flip side. All right guys, so um, I haven't tried this beer for about a month now and um, I can really taste the difference. Uh, the hops are really, really settled down and there's not really a lot of hop flavor from it. Um, starting with aroma, I'm getting a bit of citrus and then a nice big kind of coffee roastiness from the, uh, from the black malt. Um, but aroma wise, Sorry, taste-wise, um, it's bitter. There's a nice, there's a good bitterness to it, um, but there's not really a flavour on that bitterness. Um, yeah, I'm not getting any citrus, any any mango, any grapefruitiness, anything um, of that nature. I'm just getting a nice solid bitterness. Which isn't bad, really, for this beer. It's, it's, it's one of my own. It wasn't um, really programmed or anything like that. Um, but yeah. No, it's a good beer. It's drinkable. Whatever. Um, future events. I was thinking today what I could brew up next. And um, something a bit different for the channel. A bit different to the YouTubing. And uh, what I've come up with is I'm going to try and do a beetroot stout um, because I've seen a few of the candy sugar. I'm not sure of a company. I know it's a US company, um, but I've seen the candy sugars in the local homebrew shop. Um, and I looked at the back of it, the back of the, the very dark, very dark. It's not a malt extract, but it's um, it's a sugar syrup, I believe. 
Um, and I looked at the back of it to see what was in it. And it was beet sugar. I'm not sure if that's sugar made from beetroot for that darkness. It was a, a really dark one. Um, so I'm not sure if that's sugar made from beetroot or I don't know what that is. I should have Googled that. Um, yeah, that's something I'm coming up with is, is a stout with beetroot. Um, I think nice earthy tones would be there, like in a stout. Plus a little bit from the beetroot. Quite a lot from the beetroot. Um, I wouldn't go too hard on it. But add a little bit of colour, a little bit of difference maybe. Mm, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the, um, that's what's happening. In a, couple of, sorry, in a couple of brews time. Um, tomorrow I'm just going to put down a Marisotta. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to do a smash tomorrow or Monday. Monday. I'll do a smash on Monday. Something easy. And another idea I've come up with is um, doing an IPA with the WRP 300, the Heffy yeast. The Hefeweizen yeast. Because I reckon citrus and banana would go quite nicely. If I fermented it at 16, 16 degrees to get that banana ester, I reckon a shot of citrus hops and a nice banana yeast might do something a bit crazy. I don't know. Uh, comment if you've done that, if you've used a, a heavy yeast on a, something that isn't a heavy. Let us know. All right, that's me done. Rambling over, tasting's over. It was a bit of a, a bit of a non-starter, really. But I thought that. I mean, it's been in the keg two months now. Brewed a month ago, so three months old. The uh, hop hop aromas have really, uh, yeah, really died. To be honest, there's not really a lot there. So yeah, so there's a lifespan on the on IPAs. Who would have thunked it? Alright guys, catch you next time.